Week 4, 2010. Two Hall of Famers went at it. Charles Woodson of the Green Bay Packers and Calvin Megatron Johnson of the Detroit Lions. The Lions would do this a lot. They'd get to a stack formation right here so that Woodson would get off of Calvin Johnson. In the first quarter, Calvin Johnson got his first catch of the day against Woodson. A little look route right there for 10 yards. It was a great matchup. In fact, this one right here, here it is. Packers up 7-0 in the second quarter. Again, the Lions get to a stack formation. Look at Calvin Johnson. He sees an opening in the middle of the field. Sean Hill playing quarterback on this afternoon for Matt Stafford. But Calvin Johnson sees the opening in this zone defense. He runs right through it, carves it up right there in the end zone. And the Lions got on the board. 7-7 in the second quarter. Calvin Johnson got his first touchdown catch of the afternoon. Charles Woodson said, enough of this. I'm not giving him up to anybody else. He's mine. And so with 14 seconds to go in the first half, on third and 20, third and 21 right here, Calvin Johnson runs this go route. Charles Woodson is underneath. He's got a safety over the top. Sean Hill throws it up there, puts it on top of the rim. Both Woodson and Johnson jump for the ball. Calvin Johnson comes down with it. And right before the end of the half, the Lions, with Calvin Johnson's second touchdown catch of the day, cut the lead to 21-14. But on the second play of the third quarter, Charles Woodson, remember, he wants Calvin Johnson. One of his top five receivers he ever covered. It's a legendary matchup. And right here in the second play of the third quarter, Charles Woodson's in great position. As Calvin Johnson breaks down right here, Woodson sees the delivery of the ball and he takes it. And he picks it off. And he's now looking to score, looking to take this commanding lead. When he takes off from the five-yard line, Charles Woodson gets in the end zone, giving the Packers a 28-14 lead. Woodson scoring on, on defense. And then up at the top, the Lions try to get one back in the third quarter right here. Straight go route, Johnson and Woodson. Woodson in perfect position right here. In the hip pocket of Calvin Johnson, Sean Hill can't put it over the top into the waiting outstretched arms of Johnson. Big strike, incomplete pass. Those stack formations. But this time, Charles Woodson said, uh-uh. I'm getting right in the grill of Calvin Johnson. Calvin Johnson does that. That separation hit. Catches that ball in the third quarter for 14 yards. And with 10 minutes to go in the third quarter, this would be the last catch by Calvin Johnson. A little hitch route on the outside. That's Charles Woodson up there at the left cornerback position. He reads it right away. He goes right through the wide receiver to help make the tackle and get Calvin Johnson down. That was it. That's all they got. They try to go to Calvin Johnson right here. In fact, the Lions try to take the lead. They're down 28-23. Fourth quarter. Johnson and Woodson going at it. Calvin Johnson's going to run this post corner route. Woodson never gets, allows them to separate right here. Stays in perfect position right here. Comes out of the break. Now, who's going to get the ball? Woodson doesn't allow it to happen. And then how about this one? Fourth quarter up at the top. Packers winning 28-26. Here's Calvin Johnson running this dig route right here for a first down. And Woodson turns the corner, cuts it sharp, and gets his hands on the ball. Incomplete pass. And on the next play, third down, Charles Woodson, one-on-one -on -one at the bottom with Calvin Johnson. Third and nine. Lions need the ball right here. They need a first down. Woodson won't let him get it. Defends the pass perfectly. And at the end of the day, Green Bay wins narrowly, 28-26. Two Hall of Famers going at it. Week 4, 2010. Woodson, Calvin Johnson. Woodson got the very last one in. What a matchup. Mega matchup between Hall of Famers.